Yo, what is going on guys? How is it going? Before the video starts, I want you guys to take a second, comment down below. I'm gonna be getting a new car on the channel that we're gonna turn into, actually wait, I don't wanna give it away. We are gonna start a new project car on the channel. I don't wanna tell you guys the car just yet. You guys are gonna see it in the future vlogs, but before you guys even see it, I want you guys to comment down below your guesses. And if someone does happen to guess it right, I'll definitely tell you guys, I'm not gonna hold that back from you if you guys guess it right, but definitely leave the guesses down in the comments. I wanna know your guesses, but I don't have the project car yet, so until I get the project car, we're gonna be working on the BRZ. Today we have a few things to do to the BRZ, one of which is something I've had for a while and we're finally gonna install which is car lock. For those of you who don't know what car lock is, it's basically a little something that you put in your OBD2 port and it helps you protect your car. This basically connects your car to your phone and gives you a live updates about your car. You can see where your car is at all times with this through your phone. If your car has ever moved or if it starts or anything, it'll send you an alert to your phone so you can see if your car is getting stolen, which in my opinion is a huge plus and should be in yours too. I don't know much about this. I've never downloaded the app, but I am pretty excited to put this in today. But huge thank you to CarLock for sending this out. They're gonna help protect the BRZ. Let's go ahead, get this opened up and uh, start putting it in. So I'm pretty sure this just connects to your OBD2 port and that's it. Damn, I don't know why I was expecting so many more wires. We also sent out a little installation guide, which uh, let's be honest, we're probably not gonna use. Pretty much every car you have, your OBD2 port is gonna be under your steering column. One concern that I just had was, so right there is the car lock and I had a concern that maybe it might get in the way of like me pressing the pedals, but it doesn't seem like I can press the, I can press the gas, lift my foot, press the brakes. I don't think that it's gonna get in the way of anything. I wanna see if this thing actually gives you live updates. So Sam's gonna go around the block real quick, drive the car around. I wanna see if it actually shows you everything in real time. All right, well, go, try moving. Wow, wow. <laughs> vibration detected. <laughs> That's just a Tome, dog. <laughs> now, obviously I can't show you guys the map because it would kind of show exactly where I live and everything, but this is actually giving some real-time updates, which I'm really excited about. That's that's awesome. Not sure what the unlock and lock feature do just yet. I'm gonna search it up or actually, I'm probably just better off using the <laughs> installation manual. Oh my God, it tells you the speed too. Like I said, I'm sorry. I can't show you guys the maps, but it tells me the exact speed. Right now the car is going 28 miles an hour. <laughs> that's so cool. Right, it's coming back now and the car should be coming up. There we go. Oh shit! <laughs> it works. That's dope. <laughs> That's so dope. So if it moves, it tells me how to navigate to my car and I can also get the exact GPS coordinates. So like if anybody were to steal it, I can figure out exactly where the car is parked. That's awesome. Once again, thank you CarLock for sending this out. If you guys are interested in checking this out, I'll leave their website down in the description. In my opinion, if you care about your car and you care about it getting stolen, it's just a cool little feature to have. It just adds that much more security to your car. So now we got the car lock installed. Now I'm gonna have to go ahead and clean the car because this car? Ew, <laughs> that is uh, ash nasty. Ooh some more nasty. The Tome is so grimy. Oh my God. It looks like I haven't washed her in like two months because I have it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's been a good two months since I last gave this car a proper wash. And also yesterday I did go hooning in the dirt, which explains the tires. But for the first time in like two months, we're finally gonna be giving Taylor a wash. Juan just got a new car. He just got rid of the EM2. Holy crap, dude, look at his headlights. That, that was his headlights before. You guys can, uh, camera's not focusing, but you can tell that it was like a little foggy. And look at him now. Holy shit, dude. We got this headlight restoration kit from Walmart and it worked so well, dude. Because you were gonna get new headlights. Yeah, I mean, I'm- But now, I mean- funny. Not, Dude. not until later on now. Yeah, but this actually worked though. That's, that's what's surprising. Like we didn't expect it to work that well. I'm gonna be taking my car down to the shop later today and I don't want them working on a filthy ass car. We're gonna get her cleaned up and then do something I've been wanting to do for a few months now. I never wanted to go full send, but I decided to finally pull the trigger. We're gonna be doing it today. Taylor needs a bath. <laughs> I'm watering my car, so maybe one day it'll grow up and be an STI. <laughs> Why is he in a weird? <laughs> it sounded like a turd. <laughs> Ooh, shake that real nice one. Butter. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey. 
Should, should, I, should, I, should I pull a Randy? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, that was all in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my I know how to work the hose. I swear, every single time I whip out this camera, my neighbor just decides to whip out his fucking lawnmower and... Dude, come on! Oh my god, it looks so clean. I love it. You guys can't tell, but my feet are so wet, and it's so uncomfortable. Cons to having bags, you hear the air compress. Oh, just turned off. But that's the cons to having bags. You guys are probably still a little confused on where exactly we're going and what we're doing. I'll explain everything once we get to the shop, but uh, right now we're gonna link up with Sarah, so let's go. Just got to one of my favorite places ever. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, fuck! <laughs> fuck! Look at the assholes, bro! <laughs> they scared the shit out of me! We're here at Winning Window Tents. I'm so happy I cleaned the car. I just cleaned it before coming here, bro. Like, it was filthy before. If you guys live in the New Jersey area and you guys want to get your windows tinted, you guys got to come here. The best shop ever. Winning window tints. Front windshield is going to be completely black. It's going to look sick. I'm super excited. One thing I am doing different is finally taking off the inspection sticker. Every time I take pictures, it's a black windshield and a random little white spot. So today we're going to take that off. It's going to look awesome. I'm really excited. I've been wanting to do it for so long now. I finally decided to pull the trigger. This car is going to be so fucking illegal. I'm gonna get pulled over. I'm pretty sure. I haven't gotten pulled over for my tints yet, but I think this this is gonna make it. I'm gonna get pulled over now. It's gonna be worth it though. Yeah, no, no inspection. Dude, full fucking send, but holy shit. Dude, I'll see you soon. See you guys soon. Take care, bro. Take care, man.